Okay, today we're going to be working on Elementary Principles of Chemical Processes, 3rd edition. We're going to do problem number 2.8. Uh, this has three parts, A, B, and C. Um, for the first part, it says calculate the weight of in uh, pounds force of 25 pounds mass object. Okay, so the important thing you need to know here is that force equals mass times acceleration. And if we're talking about weight, acceleration is the acceleration due to gravity, g, which equals 9.81 meters per second squared. Um, this is the local, or this is the acceleration due to gravity that we kind of agree upon. Um, it changes depending on where you are and how close you are to the center of mass of the Earth. Anyway, this is what we're going to be using for this problem. Okay. So, pounds force should be um, equal to the pounds mass. That You should get the same number if we go through these conversions. Um, so, let's start it off and say force equals mass times acceleration. Um, in this problem, mass is equal to 25 um, pounds mass, and uh, we just said what the acceleration was, so let's solve for what the force is in pounds force. Okay, so 25 no, pounds mass Acceleration due to gravity is 9.81 meters per second squared. And then we have 3.2808 uh, feet per meter. And then we have 32.174 pounds mass feet per second squared is equal to pounds force. Okay. And if you multiply all these together, surprise, surprise, this equals about 25.0 pounds force. So that is the answer to the first part. All right, now we're gonna do part uh, 2.8.b. Okay, again, we're continuing with this weight calculation. So the mass in kilograms of an object that weighs 25 newtons, okay? Except this time, instead of starting with the mass, we're starting with the force. So the force equals 25 newtons. And the gravity constant is still the same, 9.81 meters squared. Okay. We're solving for the mass. The mass equals the force divided by the acceleration, which equals... 25 newtons and we're dividing by 9.81 meters per second squared um, newtons is a combined unit and uh, and so it equals um, kilograms meters per second squared um, and so if that's just very common to just kind of remember that. You can memorize that um, if you want to, or you can write it out like this every single time. Sometimes I'll skip a step and, and not show this part, but if you remember that newtons is a combined unit that also equals kilogram meters per second squared, um, it'll be easy for you. All right, so we just cancel out these units, and we cancel out the meters, and we're left with kilograms. And that is the answer to part B. All right, moving on to part C. This time we are starting off with the mass 
and we're getting the weight. So the, calculate the weight in dynes of a 10 ton object, not metric tons. Okay. So the mass equals 10 tons. The gravity is still the same, 9.81 meters per second squared. Okay, and we're calculating the force. So the force equals 10 tons. And we're... then I looked this conversion up on Google, makes your life easier. So you don't have so many conversions to do. Then we got 10 to the 5 dynes per newton. And if you remember, like I said just before, the newtons is equal to kilogram meters per second squared. So that gets rid of that. Tons, tons. We're just left with the dynes. All right. So if we calculate that, that equals 8.9 times 10 to the 9 dynes. And that is our final answer. Great. Thanks for joining me. If you see a mistake that I made, um, let me know in the comments and I will post it in the video description. Thanks. Bye.